What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. If you like these videos, please hit that like button and lets me know. Go ahead and drop a comment. I try to respond to as many comments as I can and subscribe if you are not already. It's actually raining right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and go and hopefully we find some good stuff this week. So let's go. Found this Chance the Rapper Tour tee from 2017, 95 cents. There's the back. And then also this Wu-Tang shirt right here, this pink and black one. There's no price on it, so I don't know how much it is. And you have cream on the back. Gladiator poster, good movie. They want five bucks for it. They have these Air Max 93 classics. They're missing the back, like, Nike logo, whatever you want to call it. And they still want $17 for these, so yeah, I don't know about those. The Assassin's Creed 3 shirt for $2.99. Never was a fan of the franchise, though. Found this Dale Earnhardt tee right here by Chase Authentics, new with tags for $6.99. Also got this Buffalo Bills tie-dye tee for $2.99, size 2XL. Found the Soul Eater shirt right here. It says Soul Reaper has got Maka right there on the front for $3.99. In the women's section, I found this pair of low-top Shadow Ones. A little bit scuffed up on the back. They want $4 for them. Not bad. I mean, they could probably be clean, but they're pretty beat. Maybe if I was a bandwagoner fan like most of their fans, I'd cop. But no thank you. We got the John Cena for $1.99. Hustle Lloyd to your respect. You can't see me. <laughs> Here's two Team USA training jerseys. It's been a while since I found any good hats, but I just found this uh, pink polo hat right here, this leather strap back for a dollar forty-nine. It has like some yellow like sweat stains on the front, if you can see, but I'm pretty sure those will come out. So I just found this pair of 01 Cherry uh, 11 Lows, but the patent leather is really messed up on these. They're size 10 and a half, and they want five dollars for them. But uh, these things are too beat, I think, to grab. If it wasn't for the patent leather being like that, I probably would go ahead and grab them anyway. But I think I'm gonna leave them. Found the Ray Mysterio tee right here. WWE Authentics. The only bad thing is it's a 2X, which sucks, because I would have definitely copped this for the personal collection. We got the Peanuts T, 2XL for $2.99. They got this Dallas Stars jersey right here in the kids section um, by Reebok, but they want $8.99 for this one, so yeah, they can keep this one. They got this pair of these, like, wannabe sixes for $20. <laughs> I forgot Dwight Howard was on the Lakers. He's been on so many teams. What in the world? The 1993 Dallas Stars tee right here by Salem. You got like the goalie mask on fire. That one's pretty cool. The Muhammad Ali greatest of all time. Then it has his when he was born and when he passed away. 2.95. The Workaholics tee for 2.95. Personally, never seen this show, but I heard it's actually pretty good. The Betty Boop, bad as I want to be, 3.95. Right here. I'm pulling up the Play-Dohs now. Hopefully they have some good stuff because last week they had a lot of good stuff. So uh, let's hope the uh, luck continues. So let's go see what they got. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, then you know that I always find these but never my size. Well today, I finally found them size 10 for $40. Personally my favorite threes and I finally found them in my size. Also found these all black Air Max uh, Pluses for only 20 bucks, size 12. Got these two size 11, 30 bucks. They got these two, $35. Some great fives. I just found a pair of these at the flea market. These are $30. Taxi LeBron 9s. I wish these were my size, but they're only 20 bucks, size 12. Alternate 89s, 20 bucks. Humongous Kobe 8s, size 15, but for 
All right, guys, so we're gonna take a break from thrifting for a minute. Um, I just wanna share a little bit of information. So, as I was saying in my thrifted sneaker collection, a lot of my shoes are getting really dusty, so I wanted to get some like clear boxes for them, right? Well, you could go to the container store, which is over there behind that tree, and spend $10 each on those drop front boxes. Or you could come here to Bed Bath & Beyond where they actually have some, four for 20. Um, I actually seen them in a David's Got Kicks video recently. Um, I actually came and bought some Saturday, this past Saturday. They work okay. They're, the only downside is they are a little small. Uh, my size 10s barely fit, but I say if you're like a size nine and a half or under, they're like perfect for you. Um, and like I said, you can get them four for 20. Um, so I'm about to go in and get some right now, and I guess I'll show you guys. Here we go, stackable shoe boxes, four for 20. All right, so here they are. Um, like I said, they were four for 20. Um, and like, for example, how I just got these uh, True Blue 3s from Play-Dohs just now. Let me show you guys what it looks like inside. All right, so here we go. This is how they look on the, like inside. But as you can see, like I wear a size 10 and they barely fit in there. So if you wear anything bigger than a 10, then these aren't for you. Like you can even tell they're kind of not in there all the way. <laughs> Um, but I think these are good for anybody who wears like a nine, maybe even nine and a half and under. These will work perfect for you. And like I said, they are four for 20 instead of going to the container store, which is over there and spending $60 for six of them. You can come here to Bed Bath Beyond and spend $5 each, basically four for 20. So yeah, that's what I rather do. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to the thrifting. When you know not everybody can be a shoe customizer. Some Air Forces, like in a New York Knit colorway. There's some KDs. And also these Air Max 95s, which I had mine on as well. I found these two pairs of Air Maxes. This pair right here is a seven and a half. Uh, these are actually 375 today. But this, the Yeezy Air Max 1s, these are a size 13 and they are $40 today. So this store always purposely puts stuff on the counter like this. And then they tell you that it's not for sale. And it's pretty annoying. If you guys can even hear me. I'm here in the Goodwill outlet. Will I find something good today? Wow. Some Jordan 1 mids, the all whites. Found one Presto, but I cannot find the other one. And this is actually a pair that I've been wanting for a while. So that kind of sucks. I found a Mario beanie, but the best thing is this Junpei Yori uh, Persona 3 hat that I've actually been wanting for the longest time. Unfortunately, this thing is super nasty. So I'm hoping I can wash it and it'll clean up because uh, this is actually something I've been wanting for a very, very long time. And these hats go for pretty penny. Two snapbacks, this Texas A&M Aggies one, and then this Apex Dallas Cowboys. Here's everybody's favorite shoes all of a sudden, the Monarchs. Also found these Nike shoes right here from 1995, but I can't find the other one. But this is probably something I would have caught. Those fire hats. If you ever wanted to be John Cena, I got you covered. Found this Pokemon Adventure books. I actually used to read these a lot when I was younger. Those classic see-through bread 11s. I know how the see-through thing is in right now because of those Nike Reacts. What? found somebody's Air Max 1s that they ID'd for $20, as you can see in the inside, Nike ID. These Adidas sneakers, I don't know what they are, but they have this piece of boost in the back, $8.99. We got the Jackson versus Griffin UFC uh, 86T. This uh, was coming off the season of the Ultimate Fighter with Kimbo Slice. I remember I really wanted um, Forrest Griffin to win and he did. 
And then we got a copy of the Lego movie um, on the Xbox 360 for $199. Not really worth much and it doesn't trade in for much, but um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get it and get it or give it to my nephew. You know, I've still never seen this movie. I know people don't really mess with the polo jean stuff, but I thought this one was pretty cool to show for $2.99, size XL. Uh, you got the long sleeve, and then on the sleeve you got Ralph Lauren polo jeans, authentic wear. Yeah. I found this Gold and Ari DVD. I don't know, I've never heard of it, but yeah, $1.99. You just gotta let it go. That brings us to the end of this week's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and drop a comment, and I will catch you guys next week with another one. So, later.